We talk further now with the Johannesburg Public Safety MMC, Dr. Mgrini Chaku, joining us on the line. MMC, good to have you, and thank you very much for coming on this evening. There are two uh, issues, I suppose, that you're dealing with. There is the legality, the criminal aspect of it. The case of Asin, I believe, has been open, uh, and there is an arrest on that. And there is the, the, the issue of the crisis, of course, that needs relief and intervention and response from, uh, from the city. The other legal issue, of course, is the one of the illegal sorting of waste that has been taking place there. Just take us through some of the legalities. First and foremost, a, a case of arson has been opened, but I suppose it's not just arson with the two lives that have uh, also demised. Uh, good evening to your listeners, and also good evening to you, uh, your platypus. And I think you're the first person to really, I think, to talk to about this matter, because I've been observing it. And also listening to the reactions everywhere because I found that I think that many people are misdiagnosing every sometimes that you know it just actually years off and start to uncover other stuff about their building hijacked buildings and all of that which is for me is there's only one solution now and we know who are hijacking the buildings we have a train and because I came to your studio then and tell you that why is it easy to change this thing at the deep office mm. we never call them. I said these people are getting eviction orders, like even in midnight, even on Christmas Eve. What's happening at the gates of the high courts? And, 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 and obviously within the public safety, where we're uncovering the uh, lawyers which are working with Ferry and that are actually keep holding the city at the ransom, of which we, we, we said this year, by the end of February, March, we should be ready now to go out on, on, on public to name the names because I, I said the other one I just thought I said fund the boss. No one has ever followed one. He was supposed to fund the boss, where is it? And smart. So this is a, this is a person of interest there and he's well known, a hijacker of note of the building. But it's beside the point, Masia again. I'm gonna to come to that one and then I want to be invited properly to unpack it about what is happening on in the inner city right. since we're there. Now this one the case has been open uh, is a case of, um, when I spoke to the general there, it would be of murder and uh, arson and also, uh, you know, capable homicide and all of that. So the person has been held for questioning. Uh, you know, there's a witness that has been contacted and all of that. But obviously they are looking into something that is what a tight air confession. Yeah. Uh, because, of course, there are people who are hurt because this was a domestic uh, argument or yeah. a, a, a domestic, uh, you know, argument. and this person was here saying that I'm going to bend the display, and the yeah. person bent it. So the argument between the happened. two, uh, one mm -hmm. is is brought in for questioning. Um, uh, what are the details about the other part? I, that, that one, they say we 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 are looking for him. We are, we are actually on on top of him. He he has ran away. The you know the popular the, the boyfriend. So the. The the the, the TRU technical reaction unit they are on him, and 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 and, 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 and all of that. And one thing that you know, every one of you are not actually highlighting on this because I've looked at the at the incident from the top block. That that fire was kicked up by the IIOC and Our cameras are working now, and and also the ambulances they arrived yeah. within ten minutes. Yeah. So, so there was there was no call. You're saying that was made to emergency services. Uh, uh, it's it the emergency the services that reacted by themselves to the fire. Yes, we must congratulate them. We must highlight it because there are fools out there and stupid people who don't want to recognize that there's an IIOC and also that there is a problem with the firefighters in the city of Ovechino. You know, Ovechino, you know, these guys were working very hard, and it pains me in terms of. Their work and the good work that they're actually doing is not being highlighted. The firefighters, we need to put them as head. So it, it could have been worse because two people have died, which is very, very unfortunate. Imagine other people, they were trapped inside. Mm. And these guys, they went in with their thing. They, they stormed the place up and broke everything and was able to really assist people to really go away. It could have been extremely worse. So that is what I'm seeing on this. Because remember, you've got I'm a P2. Uh, you know, five, which is people, I mean, who are serious, but I mean, they're, they're still fine. And you've got P2s as well. People, I mean, if smoking uh, inhalation is not that actually bad, but they, they are fine. And they were trapped there inside. So the other one, shame, they could not go up to them. But those ones, they were 
amazed is when they were going to be banned, and these guys went in, and the cameras from the integrated, uh, from the IIOC center, of which many people have been saying that we don't, they're not working. Those people, it was then the camera unit of the public safety that is alerted and logged in a call with the EMS to say there's a building burning, guys, and they were there within 10 minutes, which is 15 minutes is an international standard. And the guys have been there because we've made a call, Tabu. Uguti, we must be on high alert on the seat. Right. And every and every fire brigade and the firefighters must be on 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 the on, on, on the standby. I if see. you can see the place, they they, they bricked it inside. Yeah. They have got this brick that they have they, they, this is how they've done. I wanna right come here. back to that because you started there. So let, let let's come back to that now. Okay. Who yeah. owns the building? No one knows. So it's, it's not a, it doesn't belong to the private. city? It's a private one. It was, right. it was, yeah, these people went to court. Yeah. There are two guys there and the lady. Yeah. The other one is located in Nigeria. The other one is located in London. Right. So they, they actually came back, went to court, say, claiming the, you know, the building. That, that building, its ownership was changed at the deed office. And no one seems terrible to go and hold this, this department into account. And it irritates me now because at the end, we are the ones who have to come back here and account for the nonsense that has been done somewhere else. Someone must say, why is the building, it says, anonymous? Yeah, yeah, they, were, yeah. they were told in court, those people, hey, bring a proof of a deposit, and and, 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 and those people, they could not. And during the, the COVID period, there were many buildings that were hijacked through the deep office. Right. Yeah, what? So, 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 so now, now we let owners come and account our yeah, thing. I, 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 I wanted to ask that then who accounts? Who accounts for the 160 people that are there and the alternatives that need to be made for them? Well, because it's us. The, 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 you are not the owners of the building, though. No, but we are the city. We are the city. These are our people who are there. We must take care of them. We can't find the people. Remember, through the, you know, the assets of the JNPD, because the, the public. Uh, thing is, I'm, you know, it is held by a fighter, yeah. and I care for like you know, for Abandon, but I can't let right. my people to just be sitting there and all of that. Did you We've speak to the people away. and ask them away. who are We've they paying? Given. Who are they paying rent to? We don't know. We are investigating now. We're going to go all out and check because there is. We have, you know, the the the, the banking detachment. You know, the, you know, the banking, you know, the, the details and, and all of that. So. If, if we can't find, if the owners are not going to be able to, to, to really come out, yeah. we have to expropriate that to be building without uh, compensation, and we must send it into student housing, or else we are going to take it to auction. Yeah. So, so let, let, me hear you, let, let me hear you, hear you clearly then, MMC. You're saying that the deeds office is complicit in the hijacking of these buildings. Well, it is alleged. How, did you, how do we change it? They, they, they're not track record. Because they were asked the, the people who claim to own it. Bring the proof. Same thing, Pratabo, that is happening everywhere. I, I came to your I came to your studio and I said, Pratabo, what I, I that it has been alleged that the owners you can be sitting in your house where now and someone can get in the kids office, manipulate the thing and change the ownership. And these people are working it has been alleged that they are working with the high court. There's a high court individual there. Look at the dates. Look at the dates where people are getting eviction orders. These uh, so-called inverted commas alleged, Sir Mark and Van der Bos. Yeah. I've been saying it every single time, and no one on your side, Bratibos, to go and call these people and say that you are being fingered. There's a, there's a legal, there's a lawyer there. There are lawyers who are working in the city, hijacking people's businesses. And now I'm working on that, who's that woman who said from Malaika or something, that other woman. Hey, there are lawyers who are trying to hijack and take her building, and I'm busy helping her. There are bogus lawyers that are there. Now, Seri comes there, comes there and say, when you go to court, okay, I don't want to talk about it anyway. They irritate me with those ones. They're just working with these people because those, are those lawyers, one, what they do is that, well, let me put the word allegedly again so that they don't go into that court. It has been alleged in the people who are there. It, it, the, the people who are there worry. You see, those lawyers, they pay what is called a retainer. Mm. So that's why every time 
I can take them out. I, mean, I, I, I don't give a damn about them anyway. I, I, I can take people out. Just give me an alternative accommodation. And the good CM and the EM went to court. No, it's not an eviction now. Okay. It's what is called a... It, it, it's a Evacuation. An evacuation. So I'm waiting for another yeah. evacuation order. So where are you taking? Where are you taking now? The 160. Well, the Denver. You know yeah. where it is. Yeah. You know how it is. Yeah. Denver. They're going there. Denver. It, I it, said it, to them. It's the same place where the, the other the other five victims went to. That's so I'm, I'm waiting for it now. I want. I said that I want to clean Venin Court. Is the Venin Court and that Casamaya? I want another one because I've given the, 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 this asset. Uh, that we could, we could have used, they want to force, they for to force for like something else. I said, okay, take this land because our people, they just need land because I don't want them to wait and wait and wait. So they are using them, they're still space in Denver. I, everyone, Denver. And then the other ones again, I said, okay, I think we're going to be cleaning, uh, you know, uh, Kassam, uh, no, um, uh, Vanin Court at yeah. the end of yeah. February. End of February. So Zanele, to the human settlement, they were getting them ready and all of that. Now, I, I let's go. MMC, let, let's leave it there. there. We, are, we are completely out of time. But I want to bring you back so that we can have this conversation with the deeds office. No, uh, as, well, as well as these We are going to unpack one by one yeah. who's hijacking this damn yeah. building. Yeah. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you for coming on Public Safety MMC Thank in the city of Johannesburg. That, that is it. Dr. Mkini Chalk.